big stress and it's been um, a whole lot of stress because I tried um, using an agent twice and it didn't work out. Things haven't been easy for this Nigerian international student hoping to come to Canada to continue her education. As September looms and the COVID-19 pandemic is still very active, this student is among the hundreds, if not thousands, that are still waiting for their student visa applications to be processed. Uh, right now, things are quite normal in Lagos. You know, offices are returning back, you know, and all that, but I, I have not going by because I got tired of the old persistent. According to the Government of Canada, international students bring in tremendous economic, cultural and social benefits to this country, adding that in recent years, international students have contributed to more than $21 billion to the economy annually. The Government of Canada also told City News that with COVID-19 in mind, they are providing more flexibility to international students, allowing them to continue their studies without affecting their eligibility for post-graduation work permit or allowing international students working as essential workers to work up to 40 hours per week, for instance. They added that our aim is to process all applications through the first stage of assessment by the fall semester. The easing of COVID related restrictions will depend on the progress we make together in containing its spread. With these processing changes in place, international students will be ready to travel to Canada to continue their studies when classrooms and borders reopen. Of the universities and colleges that City News reached out to, the University of Toronto and Ryerson University were the only ones to respond. U of T was unable to say how many international students have enrolled this year, but Ryerson added that first year enrollment of international students has increased from last year. Both schools are going virtual for the fall semester due to COVID and will allow international students to study from their home countries as long as they have a visa. It's not ideal for students, many of whom are still stuck in a backlog waiting for approval and those who are hoping to leave their country but stop because of the pandemic. I've been looking forward to oh, um, going to school and, you know, having a change of environment, you know, learn something new, meet new people and all that. The government of Canada also noted that it is not refusing the study permit applications that lack a necessary document or miss a deadline for providing a document. In most cases, the conditions in the country the applicant is living in will determine when they will be able to, for instance, provide biometrics or undergo a medical exam. Brandon Rose, City News.